Part two of building the mystery box. In the last part, I mixed yellow dye into this resin that I'm using for the question marks. I must have done something wrong though, because it overflowed on the bottom and, and overflowed on the top too, so I brought it outside to be sanded. After all that sanding, I took a blowtorch to it and just started burning up all the wood. Uh, like I said in the last part, I wanted to give the box a very rustic and beat up look. I did a very light coat of this nutmeg stain just to match the color of the box a bit better. Before I stained the top, I taped off the question marks because I didn't want to accidentally get stain on them. I brought the top inside to sand and polish the resin. I wanted it to be nice and shiny so as much light could shine through as possible. You can just see the difference here, how much less cloudy it made it. And in the next part is where the progress really starts coming together. <laughs> 